Hi, this is Amber Darst, Solutions Manager at Managed Outsource Solutions, here to talk to you today about some common reasons for claim denials. Receiving a claim denial is so frustrating, and there are several things that can lead to this happening. Here's a short list of some of the most common reasons a claim can be denied. Coverage limits. If the patient has already reached their allowed benefits for the procedure that's listed on the claim for the benefit year, there will be zero payment from the insurance company. It's very important to know the frequencies and limitations for each patient's plan. Data entry errors. Having the date of birth or member ID wrongly input into the system, which is then printed onto the claim, will be certain to cause a claim denial. Next, outdated insurance information. Insurance plans change and oftentimes patients aren't even aware. Submitting to a termed policy will result in a claim denial. And last, issues in a coordination of benefits. So not knowing which insurance is primary and which is secondary when a patient has more than one active policy can create an issue when submitting claims. If you submit the initial claim to the secondary first, a denial is likely to occur. The good news is that these specific claim denial scenarios can be avoided by ensuring that each patient has an insurance verification completed before their date of service. Checking all of the above information with the insurance companies ahead of the appointment is the most productive way of reducing claim denials, resulting in maximum reimbursement. And that's all. Thanks for listening in.